Hi everyone, it is Dave here from both the Geeky Bricks and the Webs channel and I am bringing you today a week 10 of building my Lego room. So like I said it is week 10 and we are very much nearing the finishing line now for the Lego room. Um, so I'm currently inside my house and you can see some Lego behind me etc so lots of uh, what you would have seen in these shots will be making its way out to the Lego room. So without further ado, let's get outside, show you what week's 10 progress is and just how close we are to that finishing line. Let's go outside now. Okay, so indeed here we are outside and you can see the Lego room there um, in all its glory. Um, and I personally think it is looking pretty stunning but there has been some real progress made over the course of the last weekend. Um, so let's take a walk over there now, have a look at the outside, what's been happening, and probably more importantly, the inside. Okay, so as we move over, um, you can see again the exterior all painted. It's probably had about four or five coats of paint on it now. Um, up here, we have our um, LED um, security light. So all the power is now on, so I'm going to try and get this to come on. Okay, so that's not... Uh, um, but anyway, <laughs> so these are all connected up up here as well, which I will show you in a sec. Um, and again, just on the outside, um, you can see the final coats of paint going on. Um, so here, obviously on the doors, all nicely painted as well. You can see there's still no door handles and locks, etc. So that's still yet to be done. Let's open up. Okay, so as we open up and take a walk inside, um, the first thing you get to see is light, all lights. And if we have a look round the bottom, we can obviously see now we have the sockets um, all on the wall. Um, and there's a consumer unit, which I would have mentioned in the probably last video or last couple. So if we lift that up, um, we can obviously see there the switches fuses um, and again power so we have got I think it was seven there's one behind there double plug sockets uh, go around to here here's our light switch so let's put this on now and as we put on it's on two sides and there we go so we can see we have power and we have light and I was in here last night when it was obviously pitch black dark and the lighting is excellent just with these lights alone so the other lights we have are out here so if i put this on and switch there we go so you can also see now we have the five lights all in place one above me there then going down that way um, so we have more coats of paint in here, this isn't the final, coving, I can't remember if that was up in my last video, I think it might have been, but obviously it's all been finished and painted, ceilings all finished and painted, the walls have still got to have a, another coat of paint on because we're not doing that until we get the floor down, um, you see we've got the um, underlay for the floor down, um, which you can see here. Um, so we're ready to put the wooden floor down on top of this um, and then the skirting boards will go around obviously all the edges um, on top of the flooring to give it a nice finish um, if i just come up here again get quite a good shot with regards to size but trust me it is quite big in here for what started off really as a what most people were seeing it was a shed um, I'm sure you agree now it doesn't look anything like a shed certainly from the inside. I am so pleased with it. It really is looking um, very, very awesome. Okay, so I thought I'd take this shot. This is actually, well, the doors are closed, which you can see there. Um, um, this is my camera working extremely well because it is dark in here, but this is picking up. But my purpose of doing this is to switch these lights on, really, just so you can see just how good they are. <laughs> and there we go, that's one side and then the other side but they are 
extremely bright these lights again i'm just so pleased with uh, just how good these are they are led um, strip lights um, but yeah i think they look pretty awesome so again just to say i am extremely pleased um, with the progress i'm going to go back outside now because i forgot to point out um, a couple of other things that have happened outside which are also quite important so let's go outside now and then we'll finish off the video. Okay, so here we are back outside. I'm sure you can see straight away what was uh, quite important to also show you. We have guttering going along the rear there of the Lego room. Um, and importantly, because what people have asked about the flat roof, it is flat, but it is sloped. So it does slope down um, from here down to the back. And then obviously water would fall away into this gutter in and then obviously we have a drain pipe that comes down here into this um, water um, container there I'm going to get a new one of these and a bigger one um, but there's no massive rush for that um, we've also put some extra batten up um, along the edges and that's all been treated uh, which hopefully you can see just to help channel the water down into that gutter in um, around the rear now what you won't be able to see is there is um, some waterproof uh, felt that's all the way goes all the way down the bottom of here underneath this and into the dirt but basically just to give further protection um, from the concrete underneath and stop the water seeping into that concrete and obviously coming up through the floor but that's been done down there around all these edges in fact you can see if I get this down here uh, hopefully you can see that there uh, where that felt has gone along all the way around um, the rear I'll just go around to that side now okay so just around the other side and again you can't see it but you'll have to trust me down along there as well is um, the same and if I just pan back around so you can get a shot from this angle so there we go that is it for week 10's update and I'm sure you can see we are uh, very much nearing that finishing line like I said at the beginning of this video um, things left to do is um, inside which I just pointed out the flooring and the skirting board and then the final um, coat of paint um, to go in there obviously we need to get the locks um, etc on the doors there um, once I've got all that done there will be an alarm fitted as well but again an alarm fitted um, to this room um, the other thing that needs to be done is outside here we put this concrete down you probably would have saw that in one of the first videos um, but this needs to be screeded over finished all the way along and finished down along this edge um, as well but let me know what you think I love it let me know what you think down in the comment section. Okay, so there we go. That is it for week 10 of building the Lego room, or my Lego room. In this case, like I just said, leave down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. Indeed, this series, if you have done, please give it that big thumbs up. I'm going to put up there, I think, a link to the playlist for this complete series. So if you haven't been keeping up with it, go back to what is pretty much week one. Um round through to certainly at this point week 10 so you can see what we've been doing over the course of the last 10 weeks to get to where we are now um, hopefully this weekend I'm going to be pretty much finished and we'll be able to start moving in and then we'll move on to building my Lego city anyway guys thumbs up subscribe share all that fantastic stuff it does mean a lot so please take time to press that thumbs up button and of course share the video that's it for now I look forward to seeing you all in the next video bye for now everyone Bye.